funds help farmers conserve water for your 90 Second Style Spotlight. I'm Mark Roberts. The 90 Second Style Spotlight is made possible by Tri-County Foot and Ankle, quality foot and ankle care for all ages. The St. John's River Water Management District just approved 13 contracts that will provide local farmers and growers with over $1 million in cost share funds. The projects will reduce water use by 73 million gallons per year. Four of the companies receiving project funds are based here in Lake County. Lake Technical College's Executive Director, Deanna Thomas, was recently elected for a three-year term to the Council on Occupational Education. The National Accrediting Agency Board is comprised of 19 members and is the decision-making body for all of the agency's accreditation actions. Lake County Comic Con is taking place on Sunday, November 20th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Trilogy Orlando in Groveland. The event will feature comic book writers and artists, as well as toy and video game vendors. For more information, visit LakeCountyComicCon.com. And in neighboring Claremont, the police department recently hosted the Rad Ride with the Claremont Police Department event. The bicycle safety event was geared towards 6 to 12 year olds and featured safety inspections and multiple courses including circling, balance, and serpentine. Eustace is kicking off the holiday season with Light Up Eustace at Farron Park on Friday, November 25th from 5 to 9 p.m. The event will include a tree lighting ceremony, food trucks, pictures with Santa, and live entertainment. Visit Eustace.org for more details. And if you're looking for a last-minute cookie recipe for Thanksgiving, check out three tasty cookie recipes provided by the Red Rooster Cookie Jar. You'll find the recipes in this month's issue of Style Magazine. Then, let them know how your cookies turned out at editorial at lakeandsumterstyle.com. For more local news and community features, check out lakeandsumterstyle.com. That's this week's 90 Second Style Spotlight on LSTV Digital. I'm Mark Roberts. I was experiencing sharp pain in my foot, mainly my heel, and it was shooting up my leg. I went to Tri-County Foot and Ankle, and they gave me a, a shot of cortisone and uh, sent me for an MRI. When Dr. Wassell called me and he said I needed to have surgery, the inflammation in my foot from the plantar fasciitis had cut the feeling off to my toes. When I woke up from the surgery, I could move my toes. Schedule your appointment at Tri-County Foot and Ankle, tcfavillages.com.